name is Bob. I'm one of the uh, Let It's a Shark Foundation guides here for the uh, Johannes Mueller House. We'd like to welcome you into uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mueller's parlor. This is where they would uh, receive guests as they would come and also sometimes in the evenings, especially during the, the summer months as we are in now, probably the family would gather in here to get away from the heat of the stove. A couple of things I would like to point out in here. They are of the period, and there is uh, one piece that's very interesting because it actually predates the house, which was built in 1792. Uh, this piece is right here. It's called a dowry chest, or as we know today in modern times, a hope chest. This would be uh, would have been built. Uh, it is of the, the, the uh, German style. You may be able to see that it is hand-painted. Uh, I've been told that it was built here in the United States in about 1730 and would have belonged to a young lady of the community. Now what she would have done with this is to have collected things prior to her marriage as her mother helped her maybe to make tablecloths as we may see here, do samplers, get their bedding, uh, and maybe even some dishes prior to their marriage. And of course marriage age at the time was starting at about age 16. So this piece is very indicative of that period, and virtually every woman uh, or young girl would have one prior to her marriage, and once married, she would take that with her um, to her new home with her new husband. Another piece I'd like to point out to you, which uh, does also probably predate, or definitely does predate the, uh, the house itself, and that's this table right here. Uh, this table was built over across the street in the uh, brother's house. Uh, there was a woodworking shop over there. It sat in the, in the house on the third floor when the brother's house was used as a military hospital during the revolution from December of uh, 1787 to, or I'm sorry, 1777 to 1778. Uh, this would have been there. This, now, I'm not going to do it today, but um, one of the things that uh, unique things about this is this table would actually flip up so that it would allow for privacy between beds. Uh, so this is a piece that uh, is, dates from the revolutionary period when that was used as a hospital. One other piece I'd like to point out, and that's this particular chair right here. This is a Moravian music chair. Again, also built in the brother's house in their woodworking shop. Moravians, as many people know, were very proud of their music uh, and brought it with them from uh, Germany as they immigrated into what eventually became the United States. And of course, when Johannes Mueller built this house in 1792, uh, it, we were the United States at the time. 